Hello everybody. Loomis here from Failing at Gaming with our new Thursday afternoon stream, trying to branch out a little bit. And we've got a new game. This is, I mean, it's been popular with people for around a, a year probably, even though it's still in early early access release. But uh, I've heard good things about it. Came recommended to me by our very own Wolfie. So I, I want to give this a go. I, this is completely blind. I don't really know anything about it other than it's uh, some sort of card-based dungeon crawler. But uh, yeah, I've, I've heard good things. It should probably be fun. We're gonna see how it goes. This is completely blind. For, this is my absolute first time playing. I don't know if there's a tutorial or something. Shall we just... Let's go ahead and hit play. See where we go. Standard. Embark on a quest to slay the spire. Daily climb. A new challenge once a day. That's currently locked and custom is also unlocked. So I guess we're doing standard. Which is probably the sensible option in any case. Choose my character. We've got Arnstein. We've got Mr. Locke and we've got Mr. Locke's twin brother. So it looks like we're playing as the Ironclad. Remaining soldier of the Ironclad sold his soul to harness demonic energies. Burning blood at the end of combat heals 6 HP. So he's got a regeneration thing, that sounds cool. Some sort of demon knight? 5 unlocks remaining, 0 of 300 to next unlock. I don't know what that means. Maybe the character gets upgraded? I mean, it says one run to get the other characters, so it's presumably not talking about those. Uh, let's let's go. I don't know what the plot here is. There wasn't like an intro movie, unless one starts when I hit embark. Let's have a look. Act one, exordium. So I guess we're killing a tower. Okay, let's see. Unknown room, merchants, treasure, rest, enemy elite. So it looks like we've got a map here and we need to choose the route we want to progress down. Well, that looks like there's a lot of merchants on the right hand side. I don't imagine we can uh, afford anything. There's a, a rest over on the left. Looks like there's a le there's a rest and a tre and some treasure over on the left. I guess we're probably gonna go that way. That looks promising. Oh, I do have a bit of gold to start with. I don't know whether 99's a lot or not is the thing, but hey. Potions doing combat to gain bonuses or hinder enemies. There's a timer which makes me nervous. Am I being uh? Am I being rushed? This looks like the uh, standard menu. I messed around with this earlier. Okay, what have I got in my deck? These are all my starting moves. So I've got five stabbies, four blocks, and... One more creatures take 50% more damage from attacks, so like a setup move. Two vulnerable? Is that two turns of vulnerable? I would imagine so. I don't know how many cards I get in my deck or what the system is, but uh, we'll find out. I guess we're starting by fighting a monster in any case. Oh, there is like a tutorial, cool. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy to play once you're out, end your turn. Start for your turn, new cards are drawn and your energy is replenished. So I have like a set number of cards I start each turn with, and I have a, a number of cards I can put down, and some cards cost two slots. Defensive cards gain block when enemies are about to attack you. Block reduces incoming attack damage, but wears off at the start of your next turn. Okay. 
During your turn, you can observe an enemy's intent above them. If an enemy is intent on attacking you, be sure to gain some block. Okay, so you can predict what they're going to do to play your defensive cards. Alright, I'm ready. Although I'm noticing that I had like 8 total block and this guy is showing 10 attack by the looks of it, so maybe I can't block everything even in the best situation. Okay, so I guess this is us. We're on Stein over here. Using a, a stylish sword. And. Send me intends to attack for 11 damage, so I guess we can't uh, can't block all that. Except we don't have any block cards anyway, so who cares? Jaw worm. I mean, I understand the jaw. It's got kind of a big mouth. I don't know about the worm part. I'm seeing legs. Okay, so we have three energy. This is our draw pile. The side of each turn, five cards are drawn from here. Not not up to five. So are the unused cards discarded? I presume we start with the bash to make the enemy weaker to our strikes. Makes sense to me. Oh, I, I see. I click it and then uh, click the enemy. Vulnerable. 50% more damage from attacks for two turns. Okay, so the two vulnerable is how many turns it lasts. Discard pile. Okay, so the cards I use don't go back into my hand, they go into a discard pile. I see. If I've got no if I can't draw any cards, then uh, the discard pile becomes my new draw pile. Well, I don't have many other options at this point, so I guess we stab this thing. I guess there's not really attack animations. That's a little disappointing. Maybe that's a thing that they'll be doing in later versions. I mean, for a strike, I just want the guy to run up and hit it, you know? End your turn. You'll discard your hand, enemies will take their turn, you'll draw five cards, then it'll be your turn again. Okay, so he's gonna attack me, then I'll get five fresh cards. And these three are just lost. At least until we've cycled round. I've only got ten cards in my deck, so it looks like I've got, like, two rounds of deck, no matter what. Okay, so that was kind of painful. I'll heal six of that. So I guess healing six HP at the end of each combat isn't a lot, unless you've got a lot of defend. Tends to block and use a buff. I mean, okay. So if it's not going to attack, there's no reason to use our defense. Assuming I'm reading that right. So we'll start by striking it. And then, do you think there's some benefit from holding on to our energy? Hmm. It says it vanishes at the end of this turn, so... I guess we'll find out. So no more cards to draw, your discard pile shuffled into the draw pile, cool. Doesn't look like we got anything from saving energy. But it seems as though there wasn't much we could have done there in any case. Uh, again, we've got nothing but strikes this time. I'm suspicious of this draw pattern. <laughs> These are supposed to be shuffled, we should be getting a mix of things, right? Instead of drawing all five of my strike cards. Five of my ten cards are strike, and I drew every single one of them. What what are the odds of that? I guess if you're gonna be drawing cards as often as this game will expect will make you though, you've got to expect some weird draws. Well, nothing to do but keep hitting it. It blocked the first one, but not blocking that. So uh, increase attack damage by three. I mean, I've got no blocks, so I can't do anything about that. Just gotta ride this one out. I assume we'll get lots of cooler, weirder options as we go along. See, again, nothing but defend this time. 
Intends to block and attack? Okay, so we can block some of this. Mm. 5 block, and it's going to do 10 damage, so we can block all of its damage. Using 2 defense, but then we don't have enough left over to use the bash. Let's... okay, well, let's ride this one out. Oh, I, I click on myself this time, right? Yeah. We should be able to kill him next turn, right? Oh, I probably could have one-shotted him with that. He's on really low health. Why didn't I think of that? Oh well, I'll learn. This is my first fight. you you got to bear with me here. Okay, so we took no damage from that. That's good. And now we got all our strikes, so... Block and use a buff. I guess we strike? Oh, because it's blocking. Fair enough. Does the does the block the block take effect takes effect on this turn then? Its blocks come before mine, but its attacks come after. I think is what happens there. So its turn's basically simultaneous to mine, rather than it using a block at the end of this turn to protect it last to protect it next turn, unless this is next last turn's block. Okay, we broke its guard in any case. Hmm. Do I pick one or do I get all of these? Um, okay, we do get all of them. For a moment there, I thought I was just getting one. Thought the po poison potion might be useful, but uh, okay, these are already way way better than uh, than my existing cards. Deal 9 damage, draw 1 card, that's fancy. 6 damage plus an extra 2 for all my cards containing strike. Is that in my entire hand or the ones that I've got out? In my entire deck or the, in my hand? That could be really powerful, but I'm drawn to this 12 block. Because that 5 block is already really powerful. Although it is it is 2. So I'd be getting, I'd be using 2 defense cards for 10 block, it would be the equivalent. So I'm getting 2 extra block here. But it's also dealing 4 damage back, and if I'm using block, I'm expecting to be attacked, right? That seems sensible to me. Let's shuffle this into the deck. Although now I've got 11 cards, does that mean on my third turn, I'm only going to have one card out? Do I need to always have uh, multiples of 5? Or will it give me, the third, give me the one card on my third turn and then shuffle my deck until I've got 5? I guess we'll find out. Okay, so now that I'm on this path, it looks like... I'm going to click that just in case. Okay, now I'm on this path, I can't get to the other paths. The uh, starting things aren't connected. I don't know if I'm allowed to backtrack when I get further up. Let's find out what this question mark is, I guess. I don't like there's much choice. You walk by an eerie statue holding several masks. Something behind you softly whispers, Stop! I mean, I appreciate the offer, but I already have a mask. You swerve around to face the statue, which is now facing you. I'm close to inspection. It's not a statue, but a statuesque, gaunt man. Is he even breathing? Face. Let me touch. Maybe trade? Okay. Touch. Lose 8 HP. Gain 75 gold. Simple enough. That seems like a lot of gold. 50%. Gain 50% good face. Lose 50% bad face. I have no idea what that means. What is good face and bad face? Do I accept it just so that we find out what face is? He seems like a nice guy. I'll, I'll trade with him. I'm sure he's offering a, a fair deal.
Oh wait, was it a fifty percent chance of getting a good face and a fifty percent chance of getting a bad face? What do the faces do? Relics found throughout the spire grant unique bonuses and remain throughout your run. They can be found by defeating powerful foes or within chests. Okay, so have I replaced my mask with a new mask? Cultist headpiece. You feel more talkative? What does more talkative do? Am I better at negotiating with traders? So he's got my he's now got my face in one of his in his hand. And I've got one of his faces, I guess. Apparently from from the looks of it I've got a bird face, which wasn't one of his here, but okay. Maybe he's got more hands behind his back. He's got a, a hidden seventh hand. I'm curious to see if my battle sprite has now changed. Alright, let's, uh, I guess we press on. Here's a thought. Can I, can I, like, activate and... Oh, you can upgrade cards? Cool. I don't know how I do that. Maybe it's an event thing. So can I choose which cards are in my deck, or do I just... If I have the card, I have the card. I can't, like, build a deck and put the cards I don't want in reserve for if I want to change my deck. At least, not yet. It might be an event thing again. I guess we press on. Let's see what's happening. Okay, the bird mask makes us squawk. And my face has changed there, right? That didn't stick out before like that, and the eyes have gone all curvy. And we're going up against the cultists, we've got their mask. Shouldn't that make us his friend? Intends to use a buff, so he's not attacking this turn, so I don't need any block. So I guess we just use all of our strike? Is it worth poisoning this? To conserve our health in this vulnerable early game? Uh, maybe we'll save it for something more scary. Well, that's our turn, I guess. Incantation. Oh no, he knows that I'm a fraud. Tends to attack for 6 damage at the end of its turn, gains 3. Okay. So that's its current buff, it's got 3 strength. Does 3 strength convert directly into attack damage? The other card said 3 extra attack, not 3 strength. So maybe there's a formula here where like 3 attack is always 3 extra damage, whereas 3 strength bounces off my defense stat? Do I have a stat line somewhere? Mm -hmm. I probably shouldn't be trusted with potion, poison potions. I'm short. Sure I'd be sure to chug it eventually. Uh, oh, I've got the flame barrier, which will nullify that attack and deal four damage. Oh, I can use a defend, which will take give me one damage, but let me apply vulnerable. Uh, let's use the flame barrier and the strike. Let's just get through this safely. Oh, and that last... F no, okay. No, that's just how much damage it does. I thought it was going to last a few turns from that. Okay, looks promising. Okay, so yeah, I do always get a full hand, even if I've not got a full hand in my deck. It's gonna attack again. Wait, now it's doing 9 damage? Oh, The ritual gives it 3 strength each turn, and the strength increases its attack damage. So this guy's just gonna keep getting stronger and stronger, and we need to burn him down, is what I'm seeing here. Oh, we still got well the flame barrier is up. That's another four damage on him. Can I 
just have to drag it onto myself. I've only got one attack card anyway. And still keep him from hurting me. So this is a guy you want to burn down quickly is what I'm seeing here. So yeah, this was a good choice to not use poison on. We don't want to drag this one out. Okay, this turn will use 12 damage. 8 damage, 6 damage. If we just use all of our strike cards, this should take him down, I think. 6 damage each time. There we go. I don't think we took a hit there. Textbook. Team Gold Speed Potion. 5 decks at the end of your turn, lose 5 decks. What does Dex do? So does that bring me... Wait, wait, does I get 5 decks for this turn and the next turn I'm down 5 decks from my original? Or is it just I gain 5 decks for one turn? I guess I'll take it and try it. Tip, you'll never see the same relic twice in one run. Like, even if I don't pick it up? They're genuinely unique. If I don't take it immediately, I never get the chance again. That's an interesting mechanic. I hope they've got a lot of relics, if that's how it works. Four damage and one vulnerable to all enemies. Against a, a horde, that could be nice. I've never seen more than one enemy at a time so far. And it is only one energy. Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack, deals 14 damage. Eh, probably not great. I think I'd like to have more defensive cards than that. Although it's zero energy, so it's a, a free attack, I guess. Still, though. With my regeneration thing, probably a defensive build is good. Shrug it off. Gain eight block, draw one card. I mean, that's just straight up better than my current block card, so it's a straight up upgrade, right? None of these are... Last time we got three really good cards to choose between. None of these seem amazing. But I'll, I'll take the extra blocks. It's, it's better than my current block, and it gives me an extra card to choose from. Hmm. I kind of just want to keep checking out the question marks, to be honest. Welcome. Oh, so this is a, a shop? I can buy stuff here? Okay. Welcome, welcome. Ka -ka! Let's see. 5 damage twice. Damage equal to your block? That could be useful. 7 block, exhaust a random card. Remove until en That takes a card out until the end of combat, okay. 2 strength, the end of turn, lose 2 strength. So that's an extra 2 damage on all of my attacks and it's a 0 use. Interesting. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain 3 block. So those do combo together. I'm not sure I can afford both of them. I can afford both of them, but... I don't know that I'm sold on that. Blind. Apply too weak. Okay, that's pretty good. That lowers an enemy's damage for two turns. And it doesn't use up one of my actions. Put three random attacks from my draw pile into my hand and then exhaust. So this is a one use card, but it's zero energy and it gives me three attack cards. That's kind of cool. Card removal service, okay. Oh, so if ev every time I want to get rid of a crappy card, it's going to cost me an increasing amount of gold. Interesting. Okay, this is the this is what I've been waiting for though. No, never mind the cards. I want to look at the relics. Show me the weird things. Two extra potion slots. That sounds nice. I can't afford this. 
And if you rest, heal an additional 15 HP. So resting doesn't full heal me already. Which is concerning. Upon pickup, obtain an additional copy of a card in your deck. If you don't know what the card is, I don't know that that's amazing. Block potion. 12 block. So potions, I guess, are just like one-use cards, essentially. Gain four plated armor. What is plated armor? So these are, okay, so these are all potions and these are all relics. Fire potion, gain 20 damage. Not crazy about buying potions. I seem to be finding plenty of potions. Does plated armor last from turn to turn until it's broken, maybe? Here, well, like, well, the thing that's going on in my head is uh, I'm going to get a limited amount of gold over the entire run. So you, buying a one-use potion is kind of setting back my long-term gold. Which is maybe not the safe way to look at it, but that's what I'm thinking. Really like some of these, really like one of these two relics, but can't afford them. Now if I could sell cars, that'd be a different matter. I don't know that any of these cars are really worth buying. I mean, Twin Strike is nice, it's 10 damage, instead of the 6 damage of my others, but feels like I'm clogging my deck. Actually, the blind one is really good, I think I'll get the blind one. So it's free use and it knocks off some of the enemy's damage, I think that's fair. Flex is good too. Don't think I can afford both. I'll take the blind. I think we said gonna try a defensive build, play it safe. And that's all we can afford, pretty much, so I guess we're backing out here. Oh, you can't buy the rug. Just notice that. I guess we're done here? So... Okay, so I can't backtrack, so anything I've gone past is missed. So I can get the question mark, but then I've got to face a boss before I heal. If I go this way, I just get straight to a heal, which is probably safer and more sensible. And then I can get some treasures this way. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll try the safe route. See what enemy we've got here. Oh, we've got two enemies this time. Got a, a louse. Two louse. It tends to attack for six damage. Upon receiving attack damage, rolls up and gains seven block points per combat. Interesting. Yeah, I'll start by using... Let's get this block up to begin with. They're going to do eleven damage, so ideally I want eleven blocks. So that's eight. And that should be 13. Oh, I've got my blind as well, so I'll put that on this one that seems to be doing more damage. And then I've got a strike, so... This one, oh, so this one has got less health but more damage by the looks of it, so I guess we'll attack that one. Curl up wears off. Mm -hmm. Upon receiving attack damage rolls up and gains four block, but I don't see Oh, there's the block, right. That's that appears to be seven block, but okay. This one's gonna debuff me, I guess. And this one is going to attack, okay. Uh, we can't quite kill this, so... I think we'll pop the flame barrier to nullify that attack. Yeah, I think I see what I'm doing. Flame barrier to nullify the attack, we strike this one. 
and then when it attacks me it should destroy itself on the fire and then we'll take the debuff but that can't be helped spit web okay so now I'm weakened and I do less damage for a little while and another negative effect? Is it going to just keep weakening me? Does that even stack? Shrug it off. And well, it's not going to attack, so... I think we bash and then we strike. It does give it the armor, but it lowers its defense for two turns, so it's probably worth... Spirit web, yeah. Okay, so it does stack. It can keep doing that for as many turns as it wants, I guess. Oh, my blind's back. For some reason, I don't know why I was thinking that it was a exhaust like the other one. I guess not. I mean, it's a zero action. Why wouldn't I use it? I'm gonna attack this turn, so I either need to uh, do enough damage, or well, it doesn't look like I can do enough damage because I'm weakened. So I guess we strike... Oh, that did more than I thought it would. Oh, because it's vulnerable. So the flame barrier ought to cover it then. Yeah, there we go. And we healed six from that. We're actually getting close to full health again. Maybe we didn't need to do this rest. Alright, what do we got here? 12 damage, 2 weak, sounds nice. Oh, it's 2, two energy, though. 7, uh... That's the one that we decided wasn't worth buying. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain 3 block. That sounds really good. And it's another 0. I'm gonna end up probably clogging my inventory with 0s, because that's the way my brain works. I get to the point where I'm like, yeah, I've got all these free actions, but then I've not got enough cards left to actually use my energy on. <laughs> but I'll, I'll take that one. Take a break every now and then. Don't worry, I've got to stay healthy, Bot, for that. He'll remind me. Okay, so I was heading for the rest, but I'm nearly fully healed. Do I want to try a boss, go here, and then heal? I think I'm gonna try it, just to see what the bosses are like while I'm in good shape. I've got some potions I can use. Dexterity improves block gained from cards, okay. So for one turn I gain a ton of extra block. I feel like I should try the camp just to see what it does, but... You can go here, use the question mark, then hit the camp, and then there's still a treasure ahead. I'm gonna try it. Let's see what the uh, the elites have got for us. It's got a skull flute. Gonna use a buff, okay. So we don't need. I guess we don't need to uh, defend. Gremlin knob. So we just want to beat this guy down as fast as we can, I guess. So he's now more vulnerable. So uh, we're going with the strike. Maybe I should have used the rage anyway because it's zero. There's no penalty for not using it, for using it. But I mean, it's not like we need to defend. What's your buff? What are you doing? Sounds like an attack. Whenever you play a skill, gain two strength. Hmm. So his attack's just going to go up each turn, I guess. So this time he's going to use an attack that is going to attack me and inflict a status. So I guess we'll use one block, and then we'll only take one... Oh! Whenever I use a skill, it gains two strength. Suddenly tricky. 
I'm gonna get my block higher. Oh, but if I attack, if I, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to gonna have to attack and see what happens. Oh, the strikes aren't skills. I thought it just was like any card is a skill, but it's only certain things buff the enemy. Oh, so I could have just straight out attacked him and we would have been fine. Well, we're learning things. Skull bash. Okay, we blocked it, but now we're vulnerable. Does he still have the... he's still got the Enrage and the... 27 damage! Whew. Okay, so I'm gonna die here. Uh, this is a skill, but... That two turns of weak is, might save me. Otherwise... Hmm... So it's looking bad for me. I can use these defends, which will help me more than they'll hurt me, but that stuff will last for a, a while, what he's got. Wait, is that Enrage a permanent buff? Cause it's, it doesn't look like it's ticking down. It's just that it gives two strengths as the number on it. So he's got that forever now, I just need to beat him without using any skills. I'm gonna... Throw the po poison on him. We need. We're gonna need all the help we can get on this one. I suppose the the. Uh, mm -hmm. Dex potion isn't really worth using because I'm not gonna block. Is he just gonna keep attacking? He's just gonna keep attacking, isn't he? Whenever I... This is a skill, but it will give me a lot of extra block. And I've got two attacks I can use. I'm gonna, gonna give this one a go. I may have already just game over here. I didn't know what I was doing. We might turn this one around. This is going to be close. And yeah, there goes my rage. But he's took some poison there, and I had some armor. And I'm no longer vulnerable, but he's no longer weakened. Okay. Well, I've got three strikes. It's not going to quite beat him, but it's going to get us very close. And has his attack gone down? I bet his, oh, I bet his strength is wearing off. It looks like his enrage is permanent, but the strength isn't. Uh, oh no, it's because he's doing a negative effect as well as the attack, right. Oh, he's vulnerable still. I can beat him because of that. Yeah, it doesn't take the uh, extra damage into account there. Ice cream. Energy is now conserved between turns. Okay, that's that's amazing. Is that a potion or is that just a relic? That's just a relic. That's a really good item. Liquid bronze. Gain three thorns. So I'm assuming that's counter damage. This is another potion. When receiving attack damage, deal damage back. Yeah. So it's either three turns of counter or it counters for three. I'm not sure. What new cards have we got? Draw three cards, could be useful. Damage equal to your block. I can get some decent block, that might be worth getting. If we're going with this defensive build for the extra block, it's probably good to have that. Bludgeon sounds nice, but that's my entire t turn's worth of actions. It is more, it is probably twice as much as using three strikes, but I think it might be situational. I'm gonna go with the body slam and keep going for a defensive build, I think. We're gonna be counter-based, is what I'm thinking here. 
Yeah, so I can go to the question mark, get the fire, get the treasure. A shimmering, hmm. A shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. Upgrade two random cards, lose 16 HP. Those upgrades sound sweet. But I'm already on low health. I think I'm gonna go for it, because I am resting next. I don't know how much I heal when I rest. Small enough that an extra 15 is uh, welcome, apparently. Uh, I'm gonna chance it. Those, uh, those upgrades may save my life later. Hold on, hold on. Wait, show me the... T uh. As you walk into the light, you notice the light is absorbed into you. It's scorching hot, however the pain quickly recedes. You feel invigorated, as though you received a well-deserved slap. Interesting? Wait, which one's just changed, then? Is it... Okay, it's the green one. So Flame Barrier is now upgraded. A nice chunk of extra block and extra damage. I like that, because I think that's already one of my favorite cards. You up okay, so the cards can only be upgraded once, is what I'm seeing here. And one of my strikes is upgraded. Not amazing, but better than nothing. So now we definitely want to rest. Oh, okay, so I can either heal for a nice chunk, or I can upgrade a card. Well, if I'd known about that, I would have gone for more bonfires earlier. Because upgrading is sweet. But with my with our current state, I feel like we need the rest. Alright, I guess we press on. So that wasn't a huge heal. So it's a percentage heal, which is interesting. I'm starting to see why the flat heal from that relic would have been very useful. Okay, let's have a look at this treasure. Skip chest? Is that just for challenge runners, or could there be something negative here? Pocket watch. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn. Sounds flat out good. I don't see any reason not to take that. that. That actually works really well with our conservation thing. We can save energy and get more cards. Okay, well now I would just want to head for bonfires to get as many upgrades as possible. So I think we head for this question mark and follow this route. I don't know if it's like a boss fight at the end of this, this arena. Oh. Slime goop. Clay yourself out over several minutes as you feel the goop starting to burn. You can feel goop in your ears, goop in your nose, goop everywhere. Notice that some of your gold is missing. Looking back to the puddle, you see your missing coins. Combined with gold from the unfortunate adventurers mixed together in the puddle. Lose health to gain gold or lose gold? I'll gain the gold. I want to buy some relics. I feel like relics are probably the path to power. Although I'm probably being very reckless with my health at the moment. Okay, so if we go this way... So question marks aren't always good is a thing I'm learning. It's a thing I suspected, but it's also a thing that I'm learning. Well, this this way looks flat out better because we get more bonfires. We want to heal. I think we probably need to heal though. After all of that. Maybe we can upgrade at the uh, 
at the next bonfire. So this is a room apparently. I guess that's the first boss. I'll have to keep looking at the question marks. So far they've been more good than bad. Okay, so this is just a boss and this is just an enemy and probably a very good one. His HP is at uh fifty percent it was split into two smaller slimes with its current HP. I'm not sure whether that's a good or a bad thing. Negative effect and attack for 12 damage. Hmm. Well, we definitely want to apply blind first. And then... Hmm, we could defend for all of that, but... We still get the negative effect. This seems like a bossish enemy, so I'm gonna pop the uh, liquid... Liquid bronze, I think. And see what happens. When attack deals three damage back, okay. So if we buff up our defense enough, we'll still be dealing damage to it. Oh, it exhausts my cards? That's not ideal. Is it going to be doing that every turn? Well, I definitely want to use my upgraded flame barrier. which completely neutralizes its attack at least. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain three block. Not really a reason not to. And then I suppose we might as well use our upgraded strike. Wait. Oh, until I use... Okay. So it's not exhausted one of my existing cards. It's given me a card that does nothing except let you remove it. So in theory, I can end up with my whole inventory clogged with this junk. Well, I want to start by applying blind. Let's see, it's going to do a straight up negative effect, no damage this turn, so we don't need to defend. So let's, let's go ahead and bash this guy. And then we strike. Interrupted. Oh, because now it's about to, uh, now it's about to split, I see. Oh, and they both have its current HP. It's not split between them. I misread that. So I do see how that's a bad thing, then. Well, flame value is usually a good choice. So we're going to get one negative effect and one attack with a negative effect. So we do want, uh, we do want some defense. Well, I'd have to use two defense to block all of that, so we might as well use the flame barrier. Because that at least gives us the counter. Less, if we don't apply rage, then we get less cards used, so... And it's not going to do us any good. Uh, let's attack this fellow out the back who's causing trouble, I suppose. I guess we end the... Trail. So we get reduced block now, but that doesn't matter because they're both planning to use a negative effect, okay. Got our strike plus, we've got our bash. Well yeah, I'll start by applying the blind to this one at the front, since he's going to live longer. Um, 
strike this guy so he's dead and then bash this guy for next turn. Lick. That's okay, yeah, more frail. So I basically just can't defend at this point, but This guy's almost dead. Ah, uh, but my hand I see, my hand is now full of full of slime, so I'm getting increasing restrictions. If I didn't have the pocket watch, I'd probably be in trouble. Well, I can still use the flame barrier. Yeah, okay. Let me apply rage for a little bit of defense. Flame barrier and strike. And that gives me enough damage to survive all of that. And I should still get three cards next turn. The extra cards next turn, so hopefully the slime won't be a problem. Oh, and that killed it. I guess because it was vulnerable. I don't know if keeping adding cards to my deck is a good thing, but... This card applies a power to you when you use powers of passive abilities that remain for the duration of the combat. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to all enemies for each attack played this turn. I do like that a lot, though. Exhaust all non-attack cards in my hand, deal 16 damage. No, that's not for me. And that one's just mediocre. It's gotta be this fire. I've gotta take this fire-breathing one. That sounds good. Okay, so I, I guess we just keep, not much to do but keep pressing on. A slaver. I deal twelve damage. Okay. All right, so we'll pop rage. So each I can get nine block with all three strikes, or I can get... Uh, let's see, it's three block per one, so that'd be five, eight, eleven. Uh, that's probably better, even though I won't get as many cards next turn. Defensive build. It's not, not how I'd normally play a game, but it's what I seem to have stumbled into, so that's what we're going with here. Just gotta commit to it. That's one damage. We can still turn a profit on this. He's gonna use. He's gonna attack again, but I've got my flame barrier now. So this one stays. Once I've used this, it stays permanently, right? So I'll get the flame barrier and the fire breathing. And next turn, we can start doing extra damage to him. We're safe to stall out here because he's doing less damage than my defense. Looks like this guy. Okay, now he's going to do a strategic effect as well. I got the body slam, which potentially does a lot of damage here. Uh, well, let's use the blind. That's generically good. So I've got 8 plus 13 damage there, so that would be, what, 21 damage? If I wanted to just defend, I could get 13 block and then body slam. But that also blocks his attack, so that's probably the better way to do it. Well, let's see, I could use the Body Slam for the 8 damage, and then the Enhanced Strike for 9. So that's better than using the block and then the Body Slam. So 
a shame I can't get the bash in, but can't be helped. What status have we got? Weakened, so I've got less attack damage this turn. So we're both weakened now, it's a uh, tank battle. Nobody doing damage, just flailing at each other. Let's see, Rage, Flame, Barrier, Strike. I mean, the Rage is almost going to be useless here, but actually we can probably just kill this guy at this point, can't we? If we go all in on, uh, 4 damage. Because we're weakened, right? Assuming the flame barrier is not weakened, that counts. And the flame barrier will protect us in any case. Well, I might as well use the rage though, right? Because that still brings us below uh, three cards used. Doesn't seem to do anything, but I don't see a reason not to use it. Probably not the speed strat. So it looks like you maybe only get gold from primarily from fighting monsters, so that's the reason to hunt them. Lose 3 HP, gain 1 energy for an extra card. I don't like that. Deal 6 damage, add a copy of this card into your discard pile. So it's a free attack that makes more free attacks, to the point where you're just drawing all anger cards. Is that what's happening? Or 8 damage to all enemies. The anger one sounds really fun, but a damage to having an attack that hits multiple enemies is something we don't have. You know what? I was gonna say that anger is kind of useless, but the more I think about it, the more I get extra cards anyway because of pocket watch, and I and if I get all anger cards and I can't use anything, at least my energy carries over to the next turn. I'm gonna get the anger. I feel like it works well with the stuff I've already got. Upgraded cards may appear in rewards past Act 1. Okay. So we'll start to encounter better things later. Well, it doesn't look like it makes much difference here. We just want to fight a monster, get a bonfire, and head to the boss? Steals 15 gold whenever it attacks. Ugh. What are the odds that I get my gold back when I kill it is the question. Looks like I've not got any defensive cards, so I guess we just bash and strike. Since, no, there's no way we can one-shot this guy. We're going to have to lose some gold. Wait, where is this guy putting it that he'd keep it after I've killed him is my question. Um, it's upsetting that I don't have any defenses. I want to conserve health so that I can upgrade at the bonfire instead of having to heal at the bonfire. But that seems to be the best I can do for now. And I'll get my extra cards next turn. And that was some good damage. Alright, so he's going to attack again. Oh yeah, we've got the anger, so I don't see a reason not to immediately use that. So now we've got two of those. I don't think this fight's going to last long enough for the fire breathing to be good. Oh, I should have used this before the anger. I bet that would have counted. Well, let's, let's apply it. Why not? Blind him, sure. Still got our 
three things, so I guess I think we're getting as much block as we can and then we're uh, gonna body slam. There we go. Oh, we do get our gold back. That's kind of weird, unless he's got like an escape move where he keeps it. Otherwise, it feels like there's not really a consequence. I like, guess is, is it if I run out of gold, then I then he leaves and I lose the fight. Oh, I've got another rage card. I don't like the lose HP ones. Exhaust all night attack cards in your hand. Gain five block for each card exhausted. Sounds like a good emergency card, but I'm not sold on it. I don't know that I need two rage cards. I think I might skip. Maybe I'm clogging up my inventory at this point. I feel like it's going to be a bad thing if I get too many cards. Don't forget my rewards, click on them to pick Yeah, but I don't want them. Okay, so I think we can afford to uh, upgrade here. What's some good cards that we've got? What does the upgraded blind do? Just extra weak, do you think? Fire breathing probably does two damage for each attack played. Curious about the body slam. It's probably either going to be bash or body slam. Depending on whether I want to attack or defense. Since we already upgraded the fire shield, which seems to be our best move. Does it tell me what it does, or do I just click and it's there? Oh, it makes the body slam free. That's that's good. That is very good. What about the bash? Just extra damage and extra vulnerable? Hmm. Too weak to all enemies, That's that could be good. Although I've not seen a lot of group encounters yet. I think it might be the body slam first, and then blind next time. Okay. And we've got a boss fight? Maybe I should have healed before the boss fight, I don't know. That's the, well, it's too late now. Let's get in there and see if we die. Mode shift. The Guardian. Tends to block on this turn. After receiving 30 damage, changes to a defensive mode. Okay. So I don't know what mode it's in now is the question. I'll use the speed potion because it'll probably come in handy later. Uh, oh, 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 no, hold on. This is one turn, right? Well, I'll probably use the strike since that's good and uh, save the other actions for next turn when I've got some better cards. Because there's not a whole lot I can do through its defense, I'm imagining. Oh, its defense hasn't come up yet, I guess. So I could just strike it now, I suppose. But these are crap strikes. Ah, uh, but next turn it's going to be defending. No, I'm going to hold off and see if I get any of my cool special cards next time. Because I will have extra cards as well as extra energy. Charging up. Destroy, destroy, destroy. 32 damage. Okay, I see, I see. It's currently in an attack mode, and I've got to do enough damage fast to knock it into defensive mode so it doesn't murder me. Well, we've got, uh... Let's see. Probably rage first. And then we can use the anger. And hopefully get some block out of it. That did work. Uh, fire breathing is a good thing to get in early. 
And then, can I don't know that we can get enough defense. Flame barrier is just, yeah, that's a ton of defense. That's worth, worth having up. And it does do the counter. So we can attack for three extra and some damage to him. We can defend. I think shrugging it off is probably a, a good one. And that gets us bash. That's oh, I, I don't have enough energy to use it. Well, I can defend, so he doesn't actually get through my my thing. And we can start stacking more damage on him next time. Since we use a lot of utility this turn. And that brings him a little lower to switching into his defensive mode. A powerful negative effect. Mm. Well, we definitely want to apply blind any time we can. I guess we just use all of our cards this time. Strike. Defend. Body slam. Ah, and we've knocked him into his defensive mode. So he's going to be buffing himself instead of debuffing us, which I can probably live with. And we save a bit of energy for next time. I f really do feel like the ice cream and the pocket watch are just such good items. But hey, I've only just started playing this and these are like the first items I've found. Maybe every item is really good. Well, let's see what he does. I assume he's... Sharp hide. Okay, so he's got a counter mode up. He's gonna attack for six damage. Well, as long as he's countering, I don't wanna... Like, let's just turn this back on him. Flame barrier. I'm not gonna attack you. You attack me and suffer for it. Now we've got five cards to use. A buff and attack for eight damage two times. Okay. So he's going to be doing 16 damage there. And he's still got the counter up, so we don't really want to play attacks. Um, hmm. Well, we can afford to defend three times, so he's not doing that much to us. Is it worth striking, doing 9 damage to him for 3 damage in return? Does my armor protect against counter damage? I mean, it doesn't make a difference because he's going to exceed that anyway. Do I want to do that or do I just want to save cards and energy for next turn? Let's save it for next turn and see if we get anything crazy. Okay, now he's shifted his mode, so he's going to be attacking hard again. And he needs more damage to break this time, fair enough. Well, we've got some good defensive cards. Tell you what, I'm going to pop the speed potion now. So we've got the body slam as well. Yeah, we'll do the, do the blind. Shrug it off. Flame barrier, perfect. Defend. Then body slam. 44 damage, and that's going to break him out of his attack. Which means that if I'm going to do damage, I want to do it now. So we'll hold on to that for a second while we use Anger and Strikes. But 
There we go. What was... wait, what? Okay, so we'll pop the Rage. It's time to find out if uh, Defend works against the damage we take, I suppose. The counter damage. Shrug it off. Do we pop one more Defend and then Strike? Six plus three is nine, so yeah. Oh no, but we've got the uh, we've got rage, haven't we? So we should be good. Yeah, that does work. That works really well. So we should be able to just keep attacking this guy, and we'll be okay. There goes that turn. Oh, the uh, the sudden flashy effect is when he takes damage from my uh, fire breath. Nice, nice. That's good. Uh, let's see. He's going to do 16 damage this turn, so we definitely want to start with the flame barrier. Well, we want to start with the blind, to be honest. So he's now going to do 12 damage. Let's see. Flame barrier... The 60, so 12 plus 3 will be 15, so I can use the anger safely. And, um, probably save the energy for next turn. No point summoning any extra defend. I can't afford the bash. Okay, so is it when he gets off an attack that he shifts mode, I suppose? So he's gonna do 12 damage? Surprisingly little from this guy, but now he needs 50 to be broken. Got three angers. And he's not got his defense up, so there's not much reason not to use them. Is this the point where we just start hammering him? Looks like for boss fights, I'm just going to get increasingly ridiculous numbers of anger. Angry tank is apparently my build. So let's see. I guess we just... Do we got four energy. Do we just use all of our cards here? Well, we definitely want to use the strike plus. Definitely want to use the defend and the body slam. Do we want to ditch these two strikes and try and get something better next turn? That might be worth doing. Mm. Although then we know we're close to breaking him is the thing. And we might not get much damage cards next turn. So now he's on... Oh! My fire damage broke him. I keep forgetting that's a thing. And it happens for every attack card, so that builds up quite high. I wish there was like a counter somewhere that showed that. Okay, well, uh, yeah, blind's a good thing to use. Shrug it off. Yes, please. Okay, so he's going to do six damage, plus three for each counter, so we want more... We want more defend before we start doing any any attacks. So now we can take two counters, I believe. So start with that body slam. And we should be safe to use one of our angers. And we get to save one energy. Imagine we're getting an increasingly stupid number of anger here, but we can I can work with that. Okay, here I just want to defend as much as I can, I think. Uh, 
And then he's probably going to transform on the next turn, so we'll, that's when we want to go all out attack. Save our energy for that. Yeah, there he goes. 60 damage this time. It's getting harder and harder to burn him down, so that's a thing. He's going to do 20 damage. Well. Yeah, we want the flame barrier. Not really got anything to use before that, so, uh... All the anger, all the time. As we just... The anger's just letting us build up crazy amounts of damage when we get the extra cards in. So at least, at least we've got that going for us. And we're still saving energy. Because anger uses no energy. And it stacks with that, it stacks with that move really well. And the counter damage got him. Nice. 97 gold. Add a card to our deck. Does he give... Save your turn. Lose 1 HP and draw 1 card. And that happens every turn? No, that's that's terrible. Ah, uh, but... A start of your turn gain 2 strength. And that lasts for the uh, whole battle. So that's... That's really good. Lose 6 HP, gain 2 energy, draw 3 cards, exhaust. Uh, not sold on that one. I don't like the lose HP cards. I'm gonna take that demon form, I think. Because these are all these things that build up the extra damage, so that, that can tag in to a, with my tank form. I build up for extra counter. Is this one? Of, is this like what the uh, cultist had, where you get stronger every single turn of the battle? Because that could be really good. That's for boss fights. That's gonna be amazing. Okay, so we beat beat the first boss. We got a demon chest. Oh, a relic chest. Okay. For every five cards in your deck, heal three HP whenever you enter a rest site. That's really good. And it's when you enter a rest site, not when you rest there. So I can upgrade and still rest. I like the sound of that a lot. When at the start of your turn, draw two additional cards. Start each combat confused. Confused. Whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. I don't really like that one. Alright, upon pickup, choose and add five cards to your deck. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Whenever I get a new card, I get five cards instead of one card? That's just going to clog my deck really fast. I mean, it stacks really well the Feather, but I can't get both of them. I'm going to take the Feather, that just sounds too practical. Act 2, The City. This looks like a much bigger map. Alright, well I think I'm going to take a break for five minutes and get get myself a fresh drink. I'm sure I'll stay hydrated, but will be berating me otherwise. And I'll be back soon as we continue with Act 2. See you in just a moment, everybody. And we're back. Hello again, everybody. I'm getting really into this. This is a... This is a cool game. So this looks like... This level's like twice the size of the last one. Narrower, though. I guess we're going through city streets. So let's see, where are the things that we want? Saved up some money. I'd like to get to that shop there, maybe? What are you doing, Tilly Cat? Oh, don't, don't scratch at the controller. It's not going to be ideal if you're hitting buttons. Not right now. Yeah, I'm thinking going, starting here, going for that shop, and that brings us up here through the question mark, and we get a bonfire this way, which we don't get the other ways. Well, there is one there. Bonfire, boss, or oh, enemy. Okay, you you going back out? See you in a bit, Tilly Cat. 
Yeah, bonfire, bonfire, treasure. This this is looking good to me. And then there's another bonfire. Yeah. I feel like we can do well along here. Yeah, so we're definitely starting here, I think. This looks like by far the best choice. And we're f do we fully heal whenever we beat the boss? I don't think we finished that one at full health. I would imagine we didn't. Alright, what's this guy going on? So this is a uh, shelled parasite. Oh, we've got a different background. That is, that's quite a nice city. Looks good. Got some weird domes and things though. It's like... Is this like an insect city or... So he's gonna attack, but okay. So plated armor is like it's auto block every turn, but it slowly breaks as you take more damage. That's cool. Well, we can start theoretically by going into a demon form, but I'm not sure this fight's gonna be long enough to make benefit from it. Let's see, well, we can't defend all of this stuff. Defend fire breathing strike. Need more. Oh, because he's got the the block. I didn't think about that. Receiving attack damage. Oh, I see. You have to break his block before you can start breaking his plate mail. So you need to do, like, bursts of damage. I feel like I need more defense cards is what I need. Okay, well, start by blinding him. Rage sounds good. And then, well, probably anger. Flame Barrier... Yeah, Flame Barrier should block all of that. So we're... Uh, we can bash him, but that's not... Yeah, if we bash him, then he'll take the counter damage. Is how I think that works. And that... Oh, not enough energy, I see. So two, and then he should take a little bit of counter damage. No? Did that not take his... Oh, there we go. There's his attack. Okay, so counter damage does hurt him, but that doesn't change his plate and armor. It has to be an actual attack. Oh, and he's got a thing that lowers my block. It's cheeky. If I can get nine block to do 9 damage there, and then strike for 6. So that should lower his... Yeah. I think that's what we're going with, that should lower his thing. Buff and attack, that gives us more... another strike, not super useful. This should do damage, I don't know if... Yeah, that's, so that's damage to his play timer, I see. We're getting this now, it's about building up that burst. And it'll be easier to burst next time. Dang, now, now that I understand how this works, maybe the, uh... That strength boost, the demon form strength boost, would have been a good idea. So we'd be smashing his armor by now. This is gonna be... This, this guy is built for long fight. Yeah, he takes the extra point from our attack thing. Okay, it's no longer weakened. I mean, I feel like it's too late to really be using demon form now, though. Defend, bash, anger? Uh, 
And that smashes more and more of his defense. Demon form potentially works very well with anger now that I think about it. Feels like there was a big difficulty spike between levels, which is interesting. Maybe wasn't ready for it, but hey. Definitely want to blind him, that's always good. Uh, pop the rage to get the strike. Yeah, now we're wrecking his plate mail. And we've got almost enough defense. Not quite as much as I'd like. We need better defense, is the thing. Plenty of defense cards, but they're not good defense cards. I need a better way to uh, discard the crappy cards than to pay a fortune at the shop. Because that was really expensive for what it was. Oh, difficult choice. I want to do enough damage to break his armor, but I can only do that with strikes, so I can't defend in that case. And now uh, the flame barrier is flame barrier is just too good. I just got to keep using that, and he'll at least take the counter damage. Hey, Wolfie. Yeah, I'm, I'm blatantly stealing your ideas. Yeah, feel free to begin to sue. Will it play, appear on YouTube too? Yeah. E everything I do is going to go on, up on YouTube, unless I've got a very good reason not to. <laughs> so how's it going, Wolfie? You doing good? I am really liking this game so far. I'm, I'm not far into it. I've been playing for about an hour. I'm putting together a very defensive build, which is unusual for me. But I got, feel like I got some really good relics. I can conserve energy and get extra cards between turns, and I heal more when I go to a campsite. Yeah, Flame Barrier Flame Barrier is the best card I've got. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a really good time, dude. Thank you for recommending this game to me. Okay, so this turn I'm thinking... Blind, Rage, Drop the Anger... And then we can... We've got a lot of Zero cards this time. <laughs> You're terrible at it? I mean, I don't know that I'm... I don't know that I'm doing great. I probably... I feel like I've gotten some really good luck with my relics, which is why I'm doing okay. But I'm only on the second act, so maybe it's always easy at this point. Pop the rage. Use the anger. So let's see, we want seven defense. So, bash and then a strike should give us enough defense. And that'll break his armor too, so that should, be, that should work for us. And then we get the vulnerable on him as well. Never seen that crow head, but ice cream relic is amazing. I got this from the uh, the head trader. He swapped my face for one of his. As far as I can tell, it doesn't do anything except my, make my guy go kaka at the start of uh, the start of each turn. If you get an X card like uh, whirlwind, you can try and save energy for a killer turn. Yeah, I, I kind of did that on the last boss, since he had like attack phases and defense phases. I just saved all my energy through his defense phases and then melted him when he went into his attack mode. That worked pretty well. I feel like the, the pocket watch on the ice cream work really well for the uh, killer turns. Extra cards and extra energy when I don't do much. Oh, you, you're okay. You didn't mean you're terrible at this game, you meant your day wasn't great. Oh, man. You you doing all right? Is it is it just rough times? Well, the pocket watch best relic. It is pretty sweet. 
Oh, the head is the best relic. Kaka! <laughs> I, uh... I don't have a problem with this head. I kind of like it. Alright, where was I? I've gotten completely distracted. Uh, I want slightly more defense. I get extra block from attacking this turn, so I'm just attacking? Was that what I was doing? He is going to buff as well, but I can, I'm sure I can deal with that. His plate mail is disintegrating at this point. We've almost got him. My main problem at this point is that every enemy is a puzzle boss as I try to work out what their ability actually does. Wait, what was his buff? Did he increase his plate armor or something? Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, get the defend up. So I currently own your defense card. Kaka, kaka, kaka. Hit him with a lot of anger, probably body slam and strike, I guess. Can't think of a reason not to. There we go. Thought we could melt him down with all of that. I didn't crunch the numbers, but he was looking low. 19 gold, add a card to my deck. Source one card, draw two cards, I don't like that. Anger, I've already got one. Iron Wave, five block and five damage. I do like that. I'm trying to build up like a defensive build, because that's kind of what I stumbled into with my items. Let's get the Iron Wave. It's straight up better than most of my block cards. I'm hoping I can discard those conveniently later. Although it looks like the only way I've found to get rid of cards so far is to uh, buy them off at the shop, which costs a fortune. Speaking of shops... Nine damage, draw one card. Interesting. Eight, eight damage. Increase this card's damage by five this combat. So that card just gets stronger every time you use it. I like that. Flex looks good. It's just extra damage for this turn, but it doesn't cost anything. Potentially stacks really well with anger. Dual wield, an attack or power card. Add a copy of that card into your hand. So that doubles one of my rare cards, I suppose. Corruption. Skills cost zero whenever you play a skill, exhaust it. And that lasts... Oh, that lasts for the entire battle. That's, a uh, Potentially very good and potentially very bad. I don't think it's for me. So for your discard pile into your draw pile, draw one card. Not really worth. Secret weapon. Attack part card for my draw pile into my hand. Exhaust. Eh. I think I'm probably buying relics here, but we'll look at those last. Food juice. Gain five max HP? Okay, that's that's amazing. Two strength. Hang on, are these like one battle? It doesn't say per battle though. Five regen. Do you know, Wolfie? Does this just last for one battle, or are these permanent effects? You can check upgrades with right-click? Oh, you mean upgrades on the cards. Ah, okay. So Rampage potentially gets very good. Corruption just gets cheaper. Draw two cards, eh. So this one Jace basically just guarantees you an attack card that turn. I don't know that that's too amazing. Cause it's already taking up a slot anyway. And I like the look of Flex. If I've got enough money I'm probably going to buy Rampage, but I'm more interested in some of these things. Yeah, is this like 5 permanent max HP, 5 2 at permanent strength, or 5 permanent regen? I know the potions, yeah, I know the potions themselves are one use, but the effect doesn't say like, 
gain 5 max HP per battle. Or for the duration of the battle. Is it 5 HP? Do I drink the potion once and the potion lasts the in and the effects last the entire game? Like if I chug this, have I lost the fruit juice but permanently gained the 5 HP is what I'm wondering. What up here? Enemies with vulnerable take 75% more damage rather than 50%. That's that's good. I've got one item that causes vulnerable. Whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. Eh. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 10 HP. That's nice. I want I want these regen effects so that I can uh, focus on using the bonfires for upgrades. Lean towards the meal ticket. But if this is like permanent stat upgrades that last the whole game, then I just want these straight off, I think. Five regen sounds too powerful to be permanent. I'm assuming it I'm assuming that this is uh, once per battle. Or like this lasts for one battle. But 5 HP stands too weak to be one battle, especially at that cost. 5 HP is permanent. If I right click on them, does it tell me more? It doesn't. It doesn't for these. Complimentary meatballs with every visit. Hmm. Theme catchers for self improvement. Continue and unfold, falls and unfolds itself in the shape of a small creature. Interesting. Five regen lowers by one each turn is lost after battle. So this is one battle. The other, the HP is permanent. We don't know about the strength. Permanent extra two damage sounds too powerful to be every battle. For that cost. I'm thinking the meal ticket and the fruit juice. Sounds good to me. And then the rampage if we've got enough left over, which I don't think we will. So yeah, extra healing's usually good, right? And extra HP just gives us that safety buffer. So do I drink this now? And yeah, there it goes. And then we don't really have any gold left. I would have liked that rampage, but it's it's not vital. I'm probably going to end it with two cards anyway at this point because I don't really know what I'm doing. Alright, so we gotta go this way now. And that leads us to some bonfires and some question marks. Strength is one battle, okay. Kaka! Okay, so we're starting to get. Why does it say one times five times? Interesting. 50% less attack damage, cancel if dealt attack damage three times in one turn. Oof. Hopefully that's like a permanent cancel, otherwise that's, uh, difficult. So we're starting to get groups of enemies now. Up until now I've mostly just seen single enemies. I think, in fact, the only time I've seen more than one enemy is when I f cut a slime in half. Okay, let's start with Rage. And see if we can ground this guy. Flight wears off. Oh, and then he's stunned. So does that mean he's just stunned for this turn and then he starts flying again? Or maybe he's got a card that he has to use? Yeah, hopefully the uh, length of the potion effects is something they'll clarify in future. 
Oh, it's five times for one damage, I see. Not one time for five damage. So Flame Barrier, yeah, Flame Barrier is going to be... Flame Barrier t trigger every time they do that, that's going to be uh, amazing. Yeah, so uh, Flame Barrier, Iron Wave, Body Slam is looking like this turn. And yeah, yeah, that'll be all my actions. Mm. Hold on, what? Damage you? Oh, I see. Because they've got the uh, defense. Yeah, I get it now. Because they still got their defense up. That was ridiculous, and I loved it. So, can we just execute here? I don't think I have enough attacks. Hmm. Well, I can drop a blind on this guy. Doesn't really cost me much to do that. And then we can finish that guy with anything. And I don't really have enough damage. To do I can do what? Oh, dang it. That hits every enemy? Ah, oh, I could have used that to execute the other guy. Well, uh, here's what I'll do. I'll play uh, Shrug It Off to get the defense just in case and see what card it gives me. It's just a generic strike, so... I guess I probably just hit it and finish it next turn. And this guy is currently confused, so I don't know what he's going to do. Oh, he's flying again. get the... I assume you're gonna tell me to do the brilliant strategy that I came up with after it was too late. But this, this guy's done anyway. Zero damage five times. Ouch. Sucks to be him. Oh, get them? <laughs> Is all you were saying? Fear Potion. Three vulnerable. That's the one that lowers... Is that the one that stops them from using their block? Can I... I wish... You can't right-click potions to see their effects. That's frustrating. This game st is still in uh, pre-release, so I guess that's fair. There's, there's going to be things that aren't ideal. Seven damage and apply vulnerable to all enemies. Ah, oh, that's an upgraded one. Is that the 7 damage to all enemies and the vulnerable to all enemies? Or is it ideal 7 damage to a target and vulnerable to all enemies? That is unclear. 9 damage, card from your discard pile, eh. Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack, deal 14 damage, meh. Looks like Thunderclap is easily the best of these, although it is an upgraded one. Which means it doesn't really get better. I don't know if these are all worth picking up. I don't want to clog my inventory too much. It could be good as an... If it does hit all enemies, it could be good as an execute for groups. We hear it in a way for the next hour you're picking up toast. Is Where's toast? If 
Picking up toast is in your playing with toast, or you've got to go fetch toast from somewhere. Has she been to the vets or something? Is the thunderclap worth taking? I think it might not be. It's only one one vulnerable as well. So I'm not really going to have time to exploit that a lot, I think. I'm going to skip it. I don't like skipping it, but I'm going to skip it. Effects that generate random cards during combat will never heal you. I've not even seen a heal card yet. I, I assumed that they didn't exist. Alright, straight on to the next boss. There's nowhere else to go. Philly card, is you, that you scratching at my door? In and out, in and out. It's a shame I can't take you to meet Toast sometime, but uh, eight hours is a long time to be sitting in a cat carrier. It's a shame, I think you two would really get along. Powerful negative effect, okay. Well, what have we got here? Bash and Strike is probably going to be my thing. Well, let's see. 8 block would be 13 for the Body Slam. And that's going to be 8. That's going to be 14. And it also applies another stack of Vulnerable, so... Yeah, this it's got to be this. Since it's not attacking outright this turn. If it was, then the uh, Body Slam is... You know, doubles up on stuff. Alright. Next time we'll get extra cards. Perplexing Glare. Oh, and now all of my card casts are shuffled. Well, you've just given me Demon Form for one point, that's probably worth taking. That just makes me stronger and stronger. Flame Barrier for zero? Start with the demon form, I guess. Flame Barrier... Um, well, I'll definitely use the free strikes. Iron Wave is a little more expensive than I'd like. I'd rather use... I'd rather use the uh, Strike Plus, but then I am taking... Oh, no, I'm not taking damage. For some reason I thought I didn't have quite enough attack, but I do. Alright. Um, part of me is tempted to uh, not use the Strike to save energy, but he's only vulnerable for this turn, so we'll get, we'll get that 9 damage. So Confusion is potentially very good and potentially very not, I guess. Okay, so we want to drop the blind. Uh, this defend we want to use. Well, we don't have anything to use Rage for. Fire breathing is ridiculously expensive. 1 HP, save 2 energy, I'm not sure that's worth. I'd rather just tank everything. Okay, so now I'm vulnerable. But I think he's given me a lot of things that I need here. Alright, so... Oh wait, blind has a cast now. I need to not, not use it automatically. Let's see, Flame Barrier for one, sure. Free Defend. Expensive Defend. Body Slam. Nice. And then we got our Strikes on top of that. This, uh, this Confusion thing is really working in my favor, I have to say. 
Maybe I should have taken that relic, that auto confuses me. I assumed it would be bad, but it's more just of a, uh, just of a change, I guess. You could comfortably play the whole game this way. It should make it harder to plan, but on, on the whole it seems like a, it's a bit of an upgrade. Combust? No. Deal 9 damage, draw 1 card. Eh. Double meh. Let's move on. I'm desperately fighting my collector's instincts. I'm the sort of person who could end up with 50 cards by the end of the first floor, you know? All covered in the writing of ancients, as you try to wrap your head around what the puzzling symbols and glyphs could mean, the writing begins to glow, suddenly the message becomes clear. Removing a card from my deck is good, but I've got a lot of strikes and defends. Upgrading all of them is powerful. I'll take simplicity. That's that's just a very good upgrade, I think. I can worry about dishing bad cards later, I suppose. Get rid of one bad card or change ten bad cards into mediocre cards. I like what I like the option I went for. Okay, so we'll step around the boss monster to the campfire. And I heal just for getting to a campfire now, which is nice, so I can safely just smith. What are we upgrading? Four strength at the start of every turn. That's potentially really powerful. I think I think we go for this. Oh, it's three strength. I thought it was four for some reason. It's still really good, though. Seven block, seven damage. Oh, making five breathing three, three would be super good, though. And upgrading rage would be nice. There's not really a, a bad option here. I think let's make fire breathing th breathing free. Then we can more reliably get it off early. We can use it even in the face of uh, incoming attacks. And that that stacks well with our ice cream because we can save the extra energy if we've not got good cards. Okay, so we'll go through the regular enemy, get another get another upgrade, get some treasure. Okay. A centurion and a mystic. Starting to encounter adventuring parties by the looks of it. Why have I got a glue blue glow on everything now? Is that my pocket watch? That's flickering up there? Or is that because they're all upgraded now? Well, it looks like I'm taking a lot of attack this turn, so, uh, defend, defend, if you're gonna prioritize the mystics, you're gonna do something weird, I'm sure. And then we can throw down the body slam. Yeah, I feel like that's a good turn. If only every turn could be like that. Mace to the face, and flail from a frail. Frail from a flail is what I meant to say. <clears throat> I'm gonna save that for like a boss. So this guy's defending. This one's using a buff, so we just go straight for the mystic, I think. Hey, we got our new upgraded fire breathing. Yes, please. Uh, drop the blind on this guy. Seems good. Although we're not planning to take damage this turn, so we don't really need to defend or shrug it off. Bash the mystic. Save that energy. 
And we can probably finish the Mystic next turn. Oh, okay. I see what's... The Mystic... Uh, Centurion guards the Mystic, and the Mystic heals the Centurion. Interesting. Well, I want to start with the uh, Flame Barrier. Uh, is that really worth using? I don't have Body Slam. It's going to be hard to burst down the Mystic now. Two strikes will deal some damage. We got an Anger as well. Yeah, I think we just want to burn down this uh, burn down this healer as quickly as possible. I probably should have used Rage anyway since we're already over the three card limit, but meh. What are you doing this time? Oh, it heals both of them. I only saw it heal the Centurion last time. That's that's frustrating. Clash is decent in a special deck. Yeah, it looks very situational. I feel like you need to build in a, like, five iron waves. Yeah, that would work well. You probably need to know what you're doing to be able to use Clash, is what I'm thinking. Okay, so... Defending and presumably healing. Tempted to use this demon form so I can just burn down the mage quicker. See, what have I got here? 6, 11, 20. So we're not quite going to kill the mage this turn in any case. And it's just going to keep healing itself, so... Let's, let's get the demon form out there. We can still do an anger to mitigate some of the healing. Oh yeah, and we still got the extra point of damage onto each of them for each attack. Oh, she didn't heal this time, she used strength instead. That will be her final mistake. Too many cards here. Can can hardly see any of them. Looks like the video preview is a little bit behind, even though I've got the latency low. Hmm. The right play, the uh, extra upgrades? Yeah, I think it was. I just got too. It was just have too many cards that would get upgraded. Do I want to use Flame Barrier, or do I want to try and attack enough to get? Well, I've got to be nine block. That wouldn't be enough. I think maybe Flame Barrier and one of my strikes. Although I can't really... St eh. I can't damage the Mystic because it's got armor up. I can damage the Centurion, but it's probably going to get healed back. I think I, I think I save my energy this turn. And next turn we try and just melt this Mystic. So I've got that extra strength now. Does the strength keep going up, or is it just permanent two strength that I get here? Okay, so the demon form just gives... No, it does. It's every, every turn I get two extra strength. My damage just keeps going up. This is really good with my defensive build. I can just stall out if I want to. Check blind. Blind is a good card, but... uh. Yeah, I already chose by that point. I have the latency turned down, so normally the stream keeps up better, but it looks like you've gotten a little bit behind. I really do need to uh, look at getting our internet upgraded. Uh, 
All right, so we are uh, at this point. We just want to try and melt the mystic. Let's use the the free blind anyway, since we're going to be using a ton of cards and energy in any case. Uh, some of these strike pluses. Did I not use flame guard this turn? I've not got any defense. I guess I didn't. I should defend them. Body slam the mystic off the board, that's good. See, you can't bash, but I can still deal some damage to the centurion. Looks like I'm actually going to take damage this time, though. I like the battles better when I don't take a single point of damage. Even though I do have that regeneration, so I'm just being straight up greedy. Six times three, so we can do eighteen. Well, are we just gonna burn everything here and save some energy for next time? Well, let's see what extra card it gives me. It's an extra strike. Yeah, I can use that. He's just about done for. Because now I'm on plus eight damage every turn. That demon form is just crazy. If you can reliably stall out a fight, then that then demon form is you win. I suppose some bosses probably have similar things to counter that, but hey. Eight damage to all enemies. Anger I don't want. Draw one card and you basically save another card till next turn. Yeah. I feel like I've got too many zeros at the moment. Eleven damage to all enemies. That could be decent. It's not amazing though. Draw two cards, put one card from your hand on top of your draw pile. So you, this one you're basically guaranteeing a good card for next turn. And getting some extra cards now. I don't know if any of these are worth it. I don't know if I'm passing up on good cards, but I just don't want to get too many cards I can't get rid of. Alright, keep smithing. Demon form, blind, or rage are my good ones. Seeing how powerful demon form was last time, I feel like that's worth picking up, worth upgrading. Three strength each turn, just ridiculous. And then we get a treasure room. Uh, well, why would you take the right-hand treasure room? This one gives you all the same options and better. Fifty-three gold. Juzu bracelet. Normal enemy combats are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. I'll, I'll take that. And let's get another bonfire. Why wouldn't we? It's the same number of combats. Uh, 
Apply too weak to all enemies. Yeah, that's that's solid. And let's keep moving. And this is exactly why we want to uh all enemies. These guys have the same thing as me where they just keep getting stronger, right? We just want to melt these guys down then. Mm, I'm not gonna crush him, and defend doesn't do that much damage on it with body slam on its own. Let's save that energy. Yeah, these just keep getting stronger and stronger. Well, fire breathing is a thing we want to get up as soon as possible, anytime we can. Rage is going to be really useful here. Oh wow, you're a week behind. Yeah, you, you really are far behind to say we're on low latency and everything. Not sure what's going on there. Mostly your 4G. Oh yeah, you're out and about, aren't you? Yeah, if you're watching this on the bus, it's going to be behind. Uh, that can't really be helped. Well, let's see. We We want to drop the anger here. Three defense for each strike, or just the straight up eight block. Well, we've got lots of we've got lots of turns, so let's yeah, let's get the defense up and do the attacks, I suppose. What else can you give me? Iron wave, perfect. Let's see, they're gonna do what? Eighteen damage? We've already got enough defense. Nice. We can just keep striking this guy. And with one more strike, the. Uh, Fire breath ought to finish it off. Nice. Really like that fire breath. Do I demon form and match their strength? Bang him. No, they're going to attack this turn. I want my flame barrier up. They're only they're gonna just keep getting stronger too. I don't wanna match that, I want to kill them now. Definitely wanna use uh use that. Let's see, that's gonna be twelve damage. So I don't need more block. Can't use the bash. We'll save the energy. In an arms race now. I don't know which bit you're watching is a thing. You mean these guys? I've gotta outmatch them? The uh, the birds. Are oh, you still on the night fight where we had to beat them down before they could he faster than they could heal up? Just keep. Why wouldn't you just flame barrier every turn? Flame barrier best card. Uh, yeah, just build up that weak. We got blind back really quickly. I guess with all these extra cards, we're just chewing through the deck really fast. Eight block, draw one card. We've got enough block. No, we've not quite got enough block. Unless we play rage and use bash, which is probably a good choice. Let's see, you're the most you're the most vulnerable one, let's just attack you.
Flame barrier overpowered. Of course, now these guys are getting uh, some really high damage. If they weren't weakened, I'd be in a lot of trouble here, I think. This guy is vulnerable, so will the... Nine plus, it's gonna be nine plus four. But with the fire thing, that should do it. Yeah, so he's he's off the table. So we'll iron wave this guy and defend, I suppose. Hey, Novellan, how's it going? I had to drop by before getting ready for Merka. Yeah, you're, you're uh, out of the thing tonight, right? <laughs> yeah, thanks for stopping by, dude. Uh, hope you're doing well. I don't know how much this, the stream is lagging at the moment. It seems to be lagging a lot for Wolfie, but he's watching it on his phone, so I don't know if that's a thing. But yeah, if, uh, if I don't get a chance to respond to your goodbye later, then uh, I hope you really enjoy your show. Having my first go at Slay the Spire here. This is a this is a cool game. Yeah, just keep keep that blind permanently up. It's like a turn-based combat thing, but you you have a deck of cards, and each card is your is your hand. Oh, is is a move. You got energy to you for how many cards you can play. So you like playing cards to outplay the enemy in combat? Uh, let's see. This guy's... Gonna attack for 13 damage. Can I burn him down with just my strikes? That's 27, right? I think I can do this. And I've got my anger as well if I need to use that. So this, this should do it. It's a bit choppy today. We fixed that uh, big problem that was messing things up. It's just running slow, I guess. This time it might actually be my internet. I've not got anything stupid running, have I? It doesn't look like it. Alright. 11 gold. Poison potion. Yes, I like those. And what have we got here? One use for two strength. Well, that's probably good. Anger we've already got, and it you don't really need more than one anger. And I don't like the ones that drain my health, so I think I'm going to take this one. Because it stacks with my demon form, and I can just get ridiculous... I can stall out with my defense and build up ridiculous attack, is the idea. Okay, so we've got a cultist and a chosen. Don't know if this is going to be another healer or what. Well, look, we want to take down the cultist first because they're going to keep buffing themselves. Uh, uh, but we've got a first turn demon form. Can we? Is it possible to not use that? We've only got the one defense in any case, which isn't a great one. I mean, it's a good card because it does damage and defense, but. It's not going to block the uh, the full damage in any case. I think we use Demon Form. Getting it this early means we're going to burn down this Cultist faster. I feel like if you get Demon Form in your hand first turn, you can't really not. Let's see. Fire Breathing is now free. I'll, of course I'll use that. Blind is just generically great, especially now it works on all enemies. Let's see, yeah, we'll use Rage so we get defense when we attack. And this guy is not going to do that much damage this turn, so now we can just spend all of our actions on improved strikes. Which, with all the things we've got going on, suddenly get kind of decent. Not to say that I couldn't replace them with better cards as the game goes on, but for now, feels worth. Oh, I've been hexed. What does hex do? 
Whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one dazed into your draw pile. Oh, so it... Fills up my deck with dumb cards, but I... Eh, unplayable ethereal. Oh, so it's a yeah, permanent... You have one less card now. That's kinda nasty. Hmm. Wait, deals 8 damage? I don't have any block. Oh, because it's plus the strength, right. That works really well. Well, we'll use this attack to take this guy off the table. And then I don't know what, what else this guy does, but uh, we can probably just keep... We can maybe just straight up keep attacking at this point. Unplayable Ethereal. This card is in your hand at the end of the turn, it's exhausted. Oh, so it just disappears at the end of this turn. That's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. How long does... is Hex permanent? Hmm. But we're getting a lot of extra strength here. 15 damage from a basic attack, nice. Well... Start with Rage. Uh, should I get off? We do want some defense for this upcoming attack. A defend and a, then a strike? This turn we're going to get a lot of days. I oh no, we only got one dazed, okay. Wise choice, no need for a bloated deck. Yeah, I'm a bit of a collector by nature, so I could easily fill my deck with useless things, so I'm trying to be very careful about that. If a card's not amazing, then I don't need it. It's just going to clog my deck later. You're not going to attack, so I don't need the flame barrier, so I just... guess I just use attacks myself? And I still get a bit of defense from that, now that it matters. 14 damage on my on a defensive move. Elites give relics when you win. Okay, so they're actually worth fighting sometimes. Yeah, so we'll save the other things. Extra energy, extra cards. This is a really good combo of relics that lets me save my energy and get extra cards when I don't use many. Alright, I'll drop that blind. Do the defenses, the body slam and the anger. I did beat one one elite earlier, but it was surprisingly tough. It didn't feel worth it. Oh, that gives me flame barrier. That's no, that's worth. Even if I'm gonna get a ton of dazed out of this, I'll be doing a ton of damage back to them. Do have that defend bash anger body slam? Cause that'll do that should stack up for a ton. Oh, they're just done. Forty six on that one. Oh, the extra thing applies to the uh, body slam as well. I wasn't I didn't quite realize that. Block potion, that's good. I should probably use one of my potions so I've got a free slot in case I get something amazing. Vulnerable, maybe. They're mostly things I want to save for bosses. Let's see, Warcry. Nine block, exhaust, no. That's the upgraded form? 
That really doesn't seem worth it. For nine block? <laughs> this message 1627. I think you guys are way, way behind me. Because my video preview is also way behind. But at least the uh, the video doesn't look choppy today. Or at least, like, it's not doing the teleporting thing that it was doing before. I think it's just legitimately slow internet that's going on at the moment. Searing blow can be upgraded any number of times. And it's just like four damage every time? I that's potentially a very good long term thing if I get extra upgrades. I'll slide that into my deck. I feel like I can make use of that. Alright, so we got a question mark. A long line of hooded figures can be seen entering an unassuming cathedral. Naturally, you join the line and are quickly surrounded by cultists. They ignore you as they gleefully chant and wave their weapons around. Murder, murder, murder! Caw, caw, caw! Murder, murder, murder! Caw, caw, caw! You eye a donation box. Smash and grab, gain 99 gold. Or obtain a ritual dagger and lose 6 HP. I mean, we do have a cultist headpiece on, so I don't know if we are cultists now. Deals 15 damage. If this kills an enemy, permanently increase this card's damage by 3. Like, permanently, permanently? Not just for this battle, but for every battle? Oh, it's, it's one use per battle, but again, that's a thing that builds as the game goes on. Okay, I, I think we go for this. I'm, I'm, liking the, I'm liking these things that keep building, you know? I don't know how long this game is, so I'm trying to build for the long term. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Ritual Dagger. 6 HP is not a lot. Stay in line out of fear. Excuse me, but I, uh... That, that is not out of fear. I'm just straight on a cultist now. Uh, that guy changed my face into a cultist face. I'll absolutely slash my farm with the ornate dagger. Cultists chant and holler for you. Caw, caw, caw! You chant too, why not? Welcome to the cult. Okay, do we want a battle or do we want a question mark? I feel like the battle is probably more practical. Get items, get a, uh, you know, get coins, get a card. But the question marks are just more fun. I think it's got to be the question mark. An old decorated chamber. In the center of the room, a large skull sits atop an ornate pedestal. As you approach, the skull bursts into flames and turns to face you. What is it you seek? What is it you offer? In sync with its final words, the door behind you slams shut. Get a potion? Eh? Yeah. I've already got three potions. Gain 90 gold? Meh? Get a colorless card. What is a colorless card? I don't know what a colorless card is. I don't think... The, do the cards even have colors? Is that like whether they're an attack, a skill, or a power? I gain something that won't proc if the enemy has, gets strong every time I use a skill? Success. I'm going to take the colorless card. I'm going to take the colorless card just in case it's... Uh... I'm going to take it just to see what it does. What does the colorless card do? Perhaps this will help. You obtain a card. Anything else? Hold on, let me see. Where did that go? Madness. Reduce the cost of a random card in your hand to zero this combat. Exhaust. Meh? Okay, so the Ritual Dagger and the Madness are the, the colorless ones. I don't really know what that means. Is colorless the ones that always exhaust themselves? Uh, 
Oh, okay. So I can keep asking for more stuff from him. How greedy do I want to be? I mean, we're next to a healing point. I could take a ton of gold and heal there instead of upgrading. You mortals never change, it is done. One more stack of gold and... no, actually, because it's going to cost me health to leave, so... Behind you, mortal. You peek behind the skull, sure enough there is a door, okay. And now we can go heal. Hopefully we can buy some cool stuff at the next shop. Assuming we survive this boss fight. Battle start. Definitely want to start with the fire breathing. What's this guy about to do? Intends to block and use a buff, okay. So we want to hit him now, I guess. Save the ritual dagger in case we can kill something. And execute. Rage, if he's not gonna attack, there's no point. So we bash and then we strike. The champ! Guys, it's the champ! It's Hercule! Normally we wouldn't stand a chance against him, but it's 420 time and Hercule is high as a kite. We're going to shut him down while we get the chance. Defensive stance. Metallicize? So he's got a lot of defense now. At the end of his turn, gains 5 block. Okay, so he's basically giving it... As long as he's in defensive stance, he gives himself... Regenerating armor. Can attack for 16 damage. Receives more damage from attacks for one turn. So we probably just want a uh, flame barrier here. And then we can body slam for 16. Could also. Um, it's not really worth using the defend because the strike will still do more damage. Yeah, I think we strike and then we body slam. I'm not sure it's even worth using the anger at this point. Save it for when we need a burst. Yeah, that looks that looks good. And he'll take the counter damage here, which is nice. Got the madness. Can make something here free, which is nice. Well, we want to use. We definitely want to use the blind. That's that's always good. Let's see, he's going to do a negative effect and an attack this turn. So we need to get nine defense. Let's we'll madness in flame defend. We'll take one damage. We gain two extra strength, and something becomes cheap. Also, we're a cultist now, so of course we've got to be completely insane. Oh, that strike turned free. That's what the uh, madness did. So now we get a free attack on this guy. Nice. So Metallicize seems to be just regenerating armor. Every turn he gets 5 armor no matter what he does. That's useful. I wouldn't mind some of that myself. Face slap. Frail and vulnerable. 
Get five percent less block. And take extra damage, okay. That's kind of brutal. He's gonna do a status effect though, instead of attacking to capitalize on that. Well, you know what? If you're gonna if you're gonna stall out for a turn, let's make stalling out go in my favor. What status have you got for me? Come at me. Okay, so he's lowered my damage. And he's made me even more. He's made my vulnerability last longer. But now our strength is going up, so we should be able to just tire him out. You want to drop the blind? Blind is just amazing. What is what's he doing? Going to block and buff. So we want to attack him now. Is what I'm getting here. Oh, and he's, yeah, he had the defense. We've got, we can use our anger now that we've got demon form up. And the rest of the stuff I think we'll save. Is iron wave, iron wave 7 damage. But then we won't get extra cards next turn. I think we'll save our energy and our cards. Since he's not attacking, we'd only get half the benefit from iron wave. Plus, he is good to stall out our stuff for later because uh, okay never mind it was good to stall out our stuff for later because it uh, builds up extra damage but he's building up his metallicize as well so he's getting more and more armor I hope there's a limit on how high that gets are you serious all my defensive items and I've not got a single block here well, next turn is gonna hurt. All right, we'll bash him for the vulnerable, and we'll just keep hitting him. Nineteen damage. I want to save this in case we can get a killing blow, basically. This is our execute. If this comes up and it's got enough damage, we kill a dude. Do your worst. Ooh. Okay, weakened war off. And we got that three extra strength. Let's see, he's gonna attack again. Just keep, keep blinding him. Figure we just use all of these. Flame barrier. Well, actually, we don't even need to use uh, defend because he's not doing that much. Twenty-four damage from Iron Wave. That is just unfortunate. That's that's a bad time. Although I'm getting a lot of negative effects here. I've just at this point I'm just accepting that all these negative effects are nigh on permanent. And we'll be we'll be fighting like this for the rest of this battle. If he wants to spend turns reiterating them, let him do it. Which sure is a way to wait break down his metallicize though. I'm scared that he's gonna keep doing that and he's just gonna get untouchable. Although I suppose my attack's going up as well. Heard 1641, so you guys are 12 minutes behind me, that's ridiculous. Alright. Well, we don't need any block because he's not attacking. So I guess we just damage him. Almost tempting to use that just to get the extra card, but I don't think I will. We'll save the energy. 
I'm probably gonna call it. I'd normally reset the stream if we're this far behind. But I'm probably gonna call it after this level. After this boss, in fact. So, uh. We'll just roll with it. I'm sorry I can't really have a conversation with you guys. It's just the internet being unfortunate. Choose the exhausted card with true grit, an early searing blow is okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just whenever you get to a place and you've got nothing better to upgrade, you get a better searing blow, right? Decent? Yeah, true grit seems like one where you've got to build for it. Anyway, yeah, th thanks for bearing with me while we're having lots of lag. Even with the lag settings turned down, it's painful. So yeah, I can't really have a conversation with you, I guess, but thanks for watching all you guys, I appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well. Just, why wouldn't you use blind at every possible opportunity? Oh, uh, he's gonna metallicize himself again. We wanna murder this guy now, I think. I think that's what he's gonna do. Bash for the vulnerable anger. <laughs> ka ka. Why don't we tempted to use these defenses just to get more damage in off my body slam? But I don't know that it's worth. We can save the energy, I suppose. Is that more metallicize you've got going? Defeat? Impossible. You're not defeated though. Just stick with me, dude. Oh, he got strength instead. He's like, I guess he's maxed out his metallicize and now he's going into attack mode. Flame barrier. At this point we're getting, uh, getting energy faster than we're using it. I'll use the rage because wait, twenty-four times two—that's forty-eight damage. That's going to be ridiculous. Okay, this this is going to hurt. Yeah, this is now he's gone on the offensive. We need to end this battle now. Execute. 33, that's just gonna barely not kill me. Wait, 32 damage? <laughs> Is this where we've gotten to now? Yes! Yes! More meat for the crows! Ha 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 ha! Kaka! Kaka! Thirty-two damage, not really worth. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw one card. Interesting. That's a power. I like power. Colorless means they aren't specific to a character. Okay. So the reason I'm getting lots of defensive cards is presumably because this is a defensive character. Like, different characters have different cards. So colors are special ones that anyone can use. That's, that's neat. I don't like the health drain. The 32 damage for 3 actions is not amazing. This is the best of the 3 cards, but honestly I don't think that's, that's that great. I still need the energy to use the card, and I've been I don't have that many exhaust cards. I don't want to skip the boss the boss loot, but I don't know that I'm gonna gonna use that. What does it upgrade to? Does it do anything cool? Just gets cheaper. Forty two damage. In eight. Oh, innate means it's always up, okay. But that's still not good enough for me to want to use it. I 
The only reason I'm not instantly ditching all of these is because they're, uh, they're boss loot. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw one card. Actually, I know a situation in which Dark Embrace would be great. Some of those have debuff moves where they give you a bad card and then you have to do something to exhaust it, right? If I encounter one of those guys, then I can replace their bad cards with good cards. That's probably what that one's for. I'll, I'll take it. If we get a boss that uses that a lot, then maybe it'll work out for us. It's a power, so you only have to use it once and you've got it for the whole battle. It's not going to clog up my inventory too much when it's a one-use card. Alright, here's the fun part. Let's get some relics. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can't play more than six cards per turn. That's probably an up. When you would die, heal to 50% of your max HP instead. Works once. That, I, that's... Mm, that's tempting. An extra life, basically. Upon pickup, transform three cards, then upgrade them. Transformed cards become a random card of any rarity. Upgrading cards makes them more powerful. Cards can only be upgraded once. Okay, so I could be getting rid of some of those low-grade strikes and defends, maybe. And potentially getting something better. I think I might go for that. Because getting rid of cards is normally difficult. This is functionally shrinking my deck and getting better cards at the same time, I think. Hopefully I don't get anything crazy useless. But if it's a random card, I'm probably going to be upgrading here. I do like defends, but... I also need to be able to, I know I'm doing the defensive build here, but I do need to be able to do some damage, so... I'm thinking two strikes, one defend? Let's give it two strikes, one defend, and see what we get. Alright, wait, 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 show me the... don't just, just put them away, come on. What did I get? Headbutt. Deal 12 damage, put a card from my discard pile on top of my draw pile. So this is basically an upgraded strike. Does uh, more damage than the strike. And it gives me a uh, refund. Let's me pick a card that I want to use again. What other things did I get? You skipped it. Oh, disarm. Enemy loses 3 strength. Exhaust. So that's an, another one use thing that doesn't really clog up my inventory because you only use it once and it permanently lowers an enemy's damage. It works for me. What was the other thing? I got another one. Rage, blind, sugar off. I don't see another card. Did I get another strike or defend? That can't be it, because... I had five strikes, I lost two. I had three defends, I lost... I had four defends and I lost one. There's got to be something new here somewhere. Oh, ho hold on, hold on. Why are these not in any kind of order? Oh, the three new ones are at the bottom. I thought they were they're shuffled in. I thought they'd be uh, next to the one similar ones. I get it now. So I've got two flame barriers now, two upgraded flame barriers. That's that's amazing. I have uh I mean that's not a not a defensive card, but Yeah, that's that's a good card. So that's better than strike, that's better than block. I'm pleased with that choice. I feel like we got some good things there. The Beyond. We're getting to more tense places here. But that's just about going to be it for me for tonight. We managed to do two levels, not bad. Hey, guess what? I had a ton of really useful potions. I didn't use any of them on that boss. I could have poisoned him for a ton of damage. I could have gained extra block when I needed it. I could have uh, made him more vulnerable to damage. That boss could have been way easier than I made him. 
Why does nobody remind me about potions? All right, so do I save my game or does it, it saves it automatically? Okay. Classic roguelike mode. You, uh, it auto saves and you can only reload your file from where you were, yeah. Oh, and I've unlocked some things. Statistics. Character stats. Achievements. Have I done any of them? Defeated the Guardian and the Champ. Well, I discovered three of 161. Why only that many? Do I have to get to... Do I normally have to get to the end of them, or...? Hmm. Compendium. All, okay, all the things that I've encountered. Okay, so these must be the, the three classes, and the colorless are the ones that anyone can use. Okay, and we've seen a bunch of different relics. Cool, that was a lot of fun. I'm uh, I'm into this game, guys. It is going to be hard for me to wait until next week to play this again. But I do like to have my uh, my slots for, for streaming so people know what they're getting each week. People want to keep following the story. So yeah, the next time I'll be playing this will be next Thursday afternoon, same time as this time. So that's uh, 2 till 5 GMT. And I will be back... The next time I'll be streaming will be on Tuesday for the Pokemon Challenge run. The type lock that we're doing. We're doing uh, Victory Road? I don't know that we'll be getting to the Elite Four next week. We should be getting through Victory Road to the Indigo Plateau. We'll probably do some training before the Elite Four. I don't think we'll be able I don't think we'll be a high enough level to actually take them on. So that'll probably be the week after. But we're closing in there. We're getting close to the Elite Four. That's gonna be exciting. So yeah, sorry we got all this lag and you can't and I wasn't really able to have a conversation with you guys, but I hope you enjoyed watching it anyway. Uh, it's not a tech problem this week like we had the other days. It's just we didn't have the internet. Things are ticking slow for whatever reason. So again, sorry about that, but thanks for bearing with me. I hope you had a good time. I've I had a lot of fun playing this. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and I hope I'll see you next time. Uh, let's see. We got some people on that we can raid? You know what? It's going to take you guys like 20 minutes to catch up. So, uh, when I see the preview screen catch up to where I am, I'll send you off on a raid for somebody. We'll see who's online when that happens. Uh, not, not sure so far who it'll be. I might have a look through the list of retro players, see if we can find somebody small to raid. But yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys. Assuming you don't all vanish before the stream ends, I'll send you off on a raid. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.